Hello again, I am Blunty, and this gear is Sony's new action cam setup. It is just about to hit shelves. I went into Sony early today to get a briefing on it to find out what it was all about, and they let me come home with all of this stuff. And I will be doing a full and complete review of it and taking it out in the world and doing test shots and putting it through the paces like I do with all my camera reviews. But because I came home with the complete setup that they're launching with, I figure it might be worth my while to do an unboxing to get uh, a lot of the basic just stuff out of the way. So when I do come to do the review, I can get right down to the nitty gritty of how the thing performs. So uh, let's do the accessories first. This one here is your for your handlebars on your bike. You've got this one here, which is an adhesive mount for mounting on your helmets and whatnot. And this one here is a little head foam, uh, head foam, <laughs> headband mount. And this one is designed to be used without the waterproof casing, so it keeps it more lightweight and stuff. Good if you're rock climbing and stuff, I guess. And right, this one here is the uh, headband mount designed to be used when it's in its waterproof casing. So if you're, I don't know, skiing or something, or water skiing, I guess, somewhere with lots of water, some action sports that I don't do because I'm a fat nerd and this is the uh, waterproof case which you can buy separately just in case you manage to mangle up your other one so accessories out of the way i'm sure we'll delve into those a bit more deeply in the review now what you get in the box now this is uh launching at 399 dollars in australia for this complete set but for that 399 dollars, you actually get a really just sweet setup so let me pop him open here and uh have a look now the first thing coming out of the box is a bit of plastic and this now if you own a gopro camera you might recognize what this particular mount is and basically this will let you mount your uh, action cam onto all your, your existing gopro mount accessories or if you uh, need an accessory that Sony don't happen to sell at the moment and um, then you can use this to mount that onto their stuff which is very clever i think so uh, what else have we got in here this is the action cam itself of course they also give you a desktop charger and a second battery. That's two batteries because, you know, if you're out in the world filming with these things, the worst thing that can happen to you is run out of battery and not have a spare. So they actually give you a spare battery and a desktop charger kit in the box, which I think is just awesome of them, actually. And what I should have done is grabbed a knife before I started some boxing because there's tape on this box. There we go. I'll just rip it open anyway. So I'll pull that out. And yes, instruction books, just in case you can't figure out how to put a charger in a battery. There's your spare battery, which comes in a little protective case, which is uh, good to shape it in your bag so nothing happens to the battery. It doesn't short out or anything. You can just throw it in there. Desktop charger, like any other desktop charger. And your power cord. And this thing, which is a little adapter, apparently, for the desktop charger, because this will actually run on two different types of battery, both of which are common in Sony... Uh, portable cameras as it is and i'll talk more about that in a sec because i'm sure what will come in here will make that a little bit more clearer for you so let's pop him open here oh box fart gotta love the box fart oh god this origami there we go so that is the action cam itself you got a little display window here your buttons on the back your record button on the back there and uh, under here you've got your inputs and outputs there's a specialized data port there hdmi out usb out and a microphone in so you can put an external microphone in there um and what else we got oh, i hate these dark army boxes they just so I would never be able to get this back in its box. So and here we go. There's the battery. And this is what I was talking about before. This, whoops. <laughs> See this little thing here, little battery carriage. This is designed to make uh, another common type of Sony battery fit into the action cam. So this is the regular battery it comes with. There is also a, uh, a common battery, the G-type battery. I think that, yeah, there we go. It's got a G written on it. I don't know whether you can see that there. And this is the X-type battery. So two different types of batteries. And this little tray will adapt that existing battery, which is very common in a lot of Sony portable cameras and happy snappers and stuff like that. So you, may, if you've already got some Sony camera gear, you may already have another spare battery, which is good. USB cable, of course. Oh, more crap out of the box. Oh, God. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what have we here? Now, oh, this will be the accessory kit that comes with. So, pop them out there. So, here's your uh, little mount, which obviously... Oops, does that go in there? I don't know. Right, so, that snaps in there. Very, very secure. Very tough to get in. Very 
tough to get out, but you want that in action cam because it's going to be bumped around. So there's your flat adhesive mount for going on whatever you need to go on so your camera can snap in and out of that. And this one here will probably be the curved one. Yep, I don't know whether you can pick that up on camera, but flat and curved. So this will go on your helmets and whatnot. And your quick release plate goes into both of those. And underneath here, uh, yay, there is the waterproof uh, case to pop them in. So it slides in there and the door closes up. Now the clever thing here is this door is designed to be replaceable. So there's going to be a couple of different doors available for it. This one I think is waterproof to 30 meters. There will be another door sold separately which is waterproof to just 10 meters but the benefit you get from the 10 meter one is it has transmissible uh, audio ports for the stereo microphones on the front there so if you don't need to go diving with it to great depths but you want a little bit clearer audio if you're planning on using the onboard audio then that will be a good way to go there will be another door which is designed for very deep diving which has a specialized flat lens on the front there so it can focus properly in under very deep water now why would you go one of these as opposed to the gopro well i don't know yet because i haven't tested it but it's got the same image sensor in here that the HX20 has, and I reviewed that camera already. If you haven't seen that, you can, I'll probably link to it in the description or something. And I was very impressed with that camera. It's just a little happy snapper camera, but it did really, really well. And that's because it's got the XMOL sensor at 60 megapixel. It'll do uh, time lapse photography, it'll do video, of course, it'll do up to 1080p, it'll do 720p at 60. Uh, sorry, 720 at 60p so you can get slow motion. It'll do 120 people super slow motion, which is really awesome. And I can't wait to test that out. Oh, before I go, there are a few more things about this that are better than the GoPro. It's got Sony's image stabilization built in. And if you've seen any of my reviews of anything camera related that Sony have done, I always rave about the image stabilization. Sony do it really well probably better than anyone else as a matter of fact so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes because obviously when you're wearing these things it's going to shake and jiggle everywhere if you mount it to a racing car or your scooter or whatever you're going to do image stabilization is really important it's Sony really good at that so I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes in the field it's got built-in Wi-Fi which will work with apps on Android and your iPhone so you can transfer your footage straight across if you want to edit it on your iPad or whatever and throw it up online you can also monitor uh, the what your what your field of view is you can change settings via the app and there's just a lot of control you can get and they're still working on the app there's still more stuff they're going to build into it and there's very early stages yet I'm told I had a brief demo but at the Sony offices but it's very, very interesting, and that is all built in with the GoPro. You have to get a separate backpack thing to do that, and then you have to get a different case for it because there are the existing case doesn't fit over the the what the Wi-Fi backpack and everything. So, yes, I'm uh, looking forward to giving this. I'm not really an action type guy, but uh, I'm going to have to think about some few ways to test it. And that's where you guys can come in. You can tell me. If you are the type of people who need one of these cameras, what would you like to see me try it? Obviously, I'm going to try it strapped to a vehicle, probably my scooter. Obviously, I'm going to dunk it underwater. Obviously, I'm going to throw it through some dirt. I may even sit on fire like I did to one of the Sony's other tough cameras. I haven't decided yet. Actually, I might do because I've got a spare case just in case it bursts into flames and incinerates horribly. So, I don't know. What would you want me to try with the action cam, Sony cam? Let me clear out the garbage so you can see the branding. Weekends should look this good. I like the box actually, it's quite good. So that's the unboxing of Sony's action cam. Let me know what you want me to test for it. Um, I think I've covered all the basics here. Thanks for watching, I'm Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, brief connection, I said that's waterproof to 30 meters. I am wrong, it is waterproof to 60 meters with the supplied housing and uh, about 280 minutes total recording time. Uh, I assume that means with both batteries. Oh, hold a second. It's supposed to come with a... Oh, I did forget it. I'm sorry. I'm hopeless at this. I should have done more preparation before unboxing this, but I'm very <laughs> limited on time. It uses the micro, uh, micro SD HC memory card, and it comes with uh, a 4 gig one and the adapter, so you can use it in the common SD card uh, readers and stuff, and which you've probably got already. So uh, that's really cool. You've got everything you need to get up and running immediately. And yeah, this with, with a second battery. That's I love them for that. That's brilliant. Two batteries for the one price. That's uh, that's golden. They've really thought this through. And uh, I've got some more stories and stuff to share with you in the full review. Um, but they have to wait. So yes, I'll sign off yet again. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. Pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything this time. Reasonably sure. Pretty sure.